We've already got some peppers and basil growing in the hydroponic grow towers, but a lot of people keep asking about the tomatoes and how we're gonna support them. So I guess we'll take care of that today. Plus I have a little problem with this guy right here and I need your help. All right, so some of these are falling over a little and I'll go ahead and tie them up. I didn't think this was much of an issue because I just support them any way I can. Usually I'd put a steak, use a tomato cage, you know, just anything you can do. You don't have to do what I do here, but I just figured since there's a bunch of holes in the garden tower that we're not using, because we made the original one and made about seven different holes and we're only using three. I figured I'd just get these S hooks and utilize the space that we're not using. So I'm just tying some twine onto one of the hooks and I'm using a little slip knot. That way I can loosen it up a little if I want or we can tighten it further if it starts to pull a little more. So just gives us a little bit of leeway and I just pop it in here And it holds on nicely, no big deal. We're gonna go ahead and just tie up the plant with a little twine. And then there's another hole on the other side, so we'll just go ahead and tie the twine to another S hook. Again, I'm gonna use a slip knot. And cut off the excess. You don't want to cut off too much. You can leave some of the excess. Like I said, if it gets a little big and you need to let it loose a little, you'll have room to let the slip knot loose and then just pop it right in there. So I think this hook will hold good enough. And as the plant grows, we can use the holes in the one up above it. And if it goes higher than that, we'll just hook it to the top of the house. Now it was just pulling the pull noodle out so you could see you really don't need to you can just hook them in without taking the pull noodle off so that was just for demonstration purposes and I think that'll do just fine so like I said you know you give yourself a little leeway so you can adjust it later if you want And this has become my life. I used to just hang out in the garden. Now I'm doing this. Instead of drinking coffee and relaxing, I'm gonna have to take care of all these tomatoes. I miss this. But I'm doing this for you. And really it only took you know, not even an hour to get all these tied up just right. So no big deal. I think the twine, you know, is like a buck at the dollar store and the S hooks weren't that expensive. I bought a whole box so I can use them. I plan on having a lot of buckets and a lot of garden towers. And uh, I just bought a whole bunch of S hooks because if this works, then I'll just have them on hand. So I got another little problem. That's right. All right, the pool noodle, this was the way we put it in at first and it worked great. It supported the peppers and the tomatoes, but when it rained, the angle opened up and just let water come right in. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. But, you know, I thought this angle was right. The roots could go down into the nutrients. The other one helped it support it. But initially when I made the tower, I liked the fact that the pool noodles were on the side. The openings were all on the side. So when it rained, it just went past it and didn't actually go in it. Like when we had the net cups up on the top, if you had it in the open, rain would get in there, flush out your nutrients. And after the first heavy rain and I came out, 
and didn't need to top off anything because they filled right back up uh, I figured we got a problem all right so you guys tell me what you think we should do right now pool noodles out there like this with the tomato and pepper plants coming out where rain can go right down inside of it like that do you think we should go ahead and try and turn them around so they're like that or just cut it you know figure out some way to get the angle back that way instead of that way or now that they're grown and established should I try and just pull this out and just put the regular pool noodle back in so let me know what you think then however many suggestions I get I'll just go ahead and do that this is y'all's experiment I usually don't grow tomatoes my wife can't eat them so everything's shaping up nicely we've got a lot of stuff growing and we'll go ahead and work on this We've got the video coming out about dealing with the heat and hydroponics and we've got a couple other little cool experiments so you guys get out there and live to inspire keep on growing be the change we'll catch you next time